Hey folks, how's it going? This is just a short video to touch upon Tosca for SAP. So initially I'll just show you the uh, the modules that are used. There's only 12. Uh, context menus, logging in, logging on, hitting the actual menu structure, and checking the status bar. These are some of the most important ones that you'll use uh, initially anyway. And then you have tree view, which is for looking at more complicated structures. If I can open that up a little bit, it'll show you deals with this kind of stuff okay so if we go over to the test cases um, maybe I will run the test case that'll give you a taste of what it's actually doing so you do have modules that are built in for opening SAP NetWeaver and then the, the actual logon GUI so now we're going in and doing the initial screen creating a standard order and then setting a document date and that was it. That was super, super quick and it ran successfully. So I'll go through the, the generate and verify sales order. As you can see, it uses this app logon and login. These are standard. They're one of the 12. There they are there. Okay. And it just starts a SAP logon GUI and opens a specified connection. And then this one uses uh, the user specific login details. Now, when it comes to doing this course, you will have to identify or download that SAP logon. I found it on a, a Japanese server. It was nearly a gigabyte in size. But once you have that, just install it, and then you can start using the details provided in the course, which give you uh, login and details. So the next one is uh, SAP Toolbar. And the module SAP Toolbar allows both the input fields for transaction codes and toolbars. For example, you type in VA1, which is a, it's, it's called a transaction code. It's basically a short code that brings you to a screen super quickly. After that, we move on to the uh, entering the order type and the sales organization. So um, once you go on to create standard order, we can go into the overview. And then there you, you type in uh, these numeric codes that imply that these correspond to a party, a specific party and then a purchase order number and it basically just goes through filling a form it just goes through filling in some details it's very straightforward it's, it's surprisingly straightforward um, there's a good example of using the SAP toolbar where you can press enter if we go to that module we can see not only can it press enter but it can do a save back exit cancel and print so it's quite a, an abstract and genericized module here we can see some header data has been input, the document date, it's just standard Tosca, plus one day. Again, the, uh, the toolbar button, or our toolbar module, just to save. One of the more interesting ones is the SAP status, which is at the bottom of the screen. And this one is used to verify status messages and status type in the status bar. So what, what's, a what's a message? Well, it might be standard order and then give you a number one two three four five six and uh, the message type might be success or failure and again to close the transaction just do a forward slash n it brings you back to the very beginning so now that we've gone seen a demo we've gone through the test let's go through that generate and verify sales order one more time just close this okay i think we're good to go It's very quick. It's very straightforward. And then you're back to the SAP easy access screen. This is what the forward slash n, when I say forward slash, I mean that one, forward slash n, that'll get you back to that screen, okay? All right, guys, that's it. And uh, thank you very much. Cheers, bye.